What's going on, everybody? My name is C4. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're here for episode 28 of our Madden 24 Arizona Cardinals franchise mode here into year three, where we are looking to go on an utter revenge tour. Last season, we were the one seed in the NFC. We had the number one offense in the NFL. We went into the playoffs. We were one and done. We lost to the Carolina Panthers in embarrassing fashion. Bryce Young and the Panthers absolutely dominated us. So we started and went through the process of the offseason with the only goal being a revenge tour. We are going to get better. We're going to come back and attack this season and be even more dominant offensively than what we were. And defensively, nowhere else to go but up. We were the worst-ranked defense in the NFL and we showed week one against San Francisco 49ers that this defense is going to be legit. Uh, really, the only bad news, bad karma going on, is Hollywood Brown's not particularly happy that we spent a first-round pick on Steven Archibald here, the rookie out of Oregon, who had two touchdowns in our week one performance. Whereas you look at Hollywood Brown, he, uh, did he even, I don't even know if he had a catch, which is not good for your highest-paid skill position player, not named Kyler Murray, did not get a single target in his first game after you draft a wide receiver in the first round. So at some point in time, we're going to have to open up the uh, maybe trade talk. See what kind of value can be there. And while that happens, hopefully Hollywood Brown can step up and make a play. So it is the holiday season. We are. I'm recording this on the 21st. I am going to be splitting up and making three separate episodes for all three of these upcoming games. Not just because... Obviously, it just gives us a nice little schedule of we can hang out here on the old YouTubes during the season while I don't have to literally be working every single day. But I also think the argument can be made all three of these games coming up on the schedule are deserving of just sole focus on that one game per episode. We have Seattle Week 2, which we're playing right now at home after our 1-0 start. And it is fair to say that if you look at the NFC West on paper, you're probably like, well... You know, Rams and Seahawks kind of competitive, but you're probably going to see the Niners. Like, that's our top competition. Every year, they always give us the most trouble. Not the case. Seattle has been the thorn in our side. We have lost more games to the Seahawks than any other team in our division in this entire series, going on year three. So every time we play Seattle, it's big time. Because they got Kenny Walker, they got DK Metcalf, all those guys just seemingly find ways to make plays every time we go up against them. So today's episode, we're going to be at home against Seattle. Big time divisional game. Next episode, we got week three. We're playing and getting those Niner games out of the way. And after an epic week one 38-17 road victory, we got to run it back against the San Francisco 49ers. That will be its own episode. And then look at the last game on the slate. The Carolina Panthers week four on the road. The Panthers, the team that made us one and done in the playoffs last year. They went on to win the goddamn Super Bowl. So that is, if this whole thing, year three, is being branded as the revenge tour, that week four game is incredibly important. Maybe more so even than these three divisional games to start the season off. We can't stress enough how good a performance this was week one. It really was 38-10. They got a touchdown late in garbage time. Utter domination on both offense and defense. We exposed Brock Purdy for being a system quarterback. Three touchdowns, no picks. Kyler Murray. Calvin Austin stepped up because we had an injury to Roosevelt Bonds. Marcus House continues to be dominant. First round draft pick out of Oregon. What a debut. Three catches. Two of them being touchdowns. Utilizing his speed in tight spaces. Defensively was incredible. Our defense was not good last year. We got a rookie. Braylon Duvall. Third round pick. Three TFLs in a sack. Two TFLs in a sack for Papo. Two TFLs in a sack and a hack for maybe the best not respected pass rusher in the NFL who only broke the sack record last year. Single season sack record. BJ Ojolari. Two TFLs. Sack and a half. Boogie Basham got after it. Look at all of these plays behind the line of scrimmage. Quentin Silas had a big sack fumble that Ojolari returned for a touchdown. The de outside of like just getting a lot of interceptions, this defense was spectacular. But this week here, week two against Seattle, is really going to be the test because it, for some reason, I don't know why, they have weapons, sure, but for some reason, the Seattle Seahawks are always the team. They, they just move the football. They offensively, it's a shoot at every single time. They have Geno Smith. They drafted a successor here, DJ Leonard out of Utah. Luckily, uh, not the bad. I mean, not a bad rating, 77 for rookie, but there's no dev trait there. And he's not playing ahead of Geno, so there's no uh, risk of a dev trait coming sooner or later. But Kenneth Walker, absolute stud, 94 superstar. You still got DK Metcalf as an X-Factor. JSN's up to an 88 superstar. You got Tyler Lockett, so there's three deep. 
at wide receiver. No offense in 86 superstar. The offensive line, not ridiculous. Also not brutal. They got an 86 second year guard out of Mississippi State. So he is popping off. Defensively, Draymond Jones. They got Ibu Khan. We did poach Milton Williams away from the Milton Williams. Had 11 sacks at D-tackle for the Seattle Seahawks. He was our big signing in free agency. So they are a little bit weaker on the inside of their defensive line. Chenna Wosu always seems to have a big game against us. Luckily, there's a little injury icon next to his name, so we won't have to worry about that. We got Tariq Woolen, Devin Witherspoon, height, weight, speed on the outside, two really good safeties. I mean, they're not. it's not like one of those, like, it doesn't make sense why Seattle always gives us trouble. But I don't think their roster is good enough to give us as consistently as much trouble as they usually do. So how do we want to line up? Well, they like to run the football. So, let's go, uh, let's go inside, inside run. I feel like that's our, that's our worst. Defensively, look, they, they are not particularly good on the short pass. We can absolutely operate within the confines of that. I'm not worried about getting any gold medals right now. I feel good with my team. I feel good with the dev traits, even though I think Kyler Murray should have a superstar. We get through practice on the defensive side. Clean. Oh, it's not Jay Latosh starting safety. We are going to, it's a Keith Taylor game. Jalen Thompson dislocated his wrist. So Keith Taylor gets the start at free safety. Okay. James Conner is going to be out with a dislocated shoulder. So we don't have a fullback who's, you know, he's been our short yardage guy. Damn. All right, couple injuries. Okay, come on. Geno Smith with the scramble. He wasn't even scrambling at West Virginia. I want to bring a blitz. I'm going to try my best. Oh, look at that throw. I'm going to try my best. Anytime we do, we do bring a blitz. As long as I can be a linebacker, I almost want to bail on the blitz. I just drop back to coverage. See if that confuses the quarterback enough. I think we got a little bit of that there. Absolutely awesome that the injury that Roosevelt Bond suffered early in week one uh, wasn't long term because he is a big time player. And as much as we like Calvin Austin as a change of pace back, I think he had what two fumbles last week. He's just, just he's a niche player. He needs to be utilized as such. So having a beast like Bonds out there to be the bell cow. That's what we need. We go all oh, big time throw as he got smashed. Kyler Murray, twelve yards to Marcus House. House again here on the run. Decent block by Rondell Moore, too. Oh, this is what I like, too. Let's keep going to house. Come on. Come on. Got him. We got him. Boom. Touchdown. Get in there. And they're getting up quick. Taylor with the nice tackle. He's got, you know Keith Taylor's going to make the most of this opportunity. Smash him. DK Metcalf kind of guy. getting his head. You can rattle him. There we go. Who else? Who else? Ojulari. I get that one. To Papo, man. Running downfield with Noah Fant. Geno Smith a little slow to get up. Right now. I don't love the fact that Collins is kind of here on DK. If DK goes middle of the field, but we're going to try our best. Oh, that's a bad drop. Third and 17 for the defense. I think it's not just pin or years back. Attack Abe Lucas here at right tackle. Those are Larry. Oh, he does a piece. Of oh, he does a decent job. I mean, if he didn't get there, Papa was getting there on the sack. Defense. Hold strong. They're probably what fringe field. Oh, they go for the punt. Man, they are just going with these checkdowns. DK, it's working. That is a tough guy to bring down. They get in, especially running at full steam. But get them another third down situation. Let's bring these guys up a little bit. I think there's going to be a run. Oh my God, we met it right. Oh, they got it. There we go, Papo. Best blitz and linebacker in the league. He's 
Tackle there. Garrett Williams on no offense. Gain of 10. Brings up third and kind of manageable. They are in field goal range. This is where I really want to blitz, but I'm going to try to... Oh, back him up. All right, so he, point B. This is one of my favorite plays. Because I kind of drop back into coverage. Like, they always panic. They always panic. They think you're blitzing. You swerve when they think you're going to slide. We all do a field goal attempt. We're going to finally a big run. Running behind backup center John Gaines. All over receiving yards so far. Maybe that will continue. Oh, that's a nice PBU. Devin Bush turning back the clock to when he wasn't a bust. See what kind of look we get here. Kind of in that no man's land. Let's see if you really like your offense. Let's go for it. I could probably actually probably could kick this. I'm gonna kick it. Yeah, superstar kicker. That's what a 50. 50, 58, 57, 58. 61. That was a perfect kick. 61 yards, superstar kicker to six wind. And it's good! Imagine if we had six win like behind our back, man. He's good from 70. All right, got a third and two. Watch DK. Please just watch DA. He chucks his way, man. Outstanding suffocation at the second level. Covered by the linebackers. That's where we want. Quick dump off. Didn't give it to him. Get off the field. Oh, there we go. Finally get some nice blocking here. Roosevelt Bonds into the second level where you know. 225 pounds. He's just looking for someone to hit. Oh, Calvin Austin gone. Break his ankles. Jamal Adams is a lot better at Madden than he is in real life. We'll say that. Rookie! Oh, that was in front of him. That's a touchdown. Hey, Roosevelt Bonds. Uh, that's a dirty hit. We're already in the end zone. We get bring down, but that is revenge tour season, man. This team is firing on all cylinders. Offense, defense, pass game, run game, special teams, complimentary football. Damn. Come on, Keith. Keith saves the touch. That's a good throw there to Tyler Lockett. You already know they're daring. Keith Taylor's daring him to throw on Keith Taylor. There, get home. Who's that, Milton? Former team, Milton Williams said, you didn't want to pay me? Huh, Pete Carroll? You didn't want to pay Milton Williams? The Milton Williams? I'm going to make you pay. Let's actually, let's go. I love that. Let's go, Milton Williams. Look at that. East the block to let Zavid Collins go eat. We're going to time out here, man. Fourth and 33. They're going to sell for a long field goal. And we got a minute to go do some more damage. This is how you keep your job? Yes! Hollywood! Hollywood! Either that or the, yes, all these other teams that saw him on the trade block. Yesterday's price is not today's price for Hollywood Brown. Look at that. The two the names in question celebrating. Maybe there's no drama there. We're going to push each other to be great. And that is hard to do to beat Tariq Wool and off the line like that. Oh, what? Just throws it. 
Throws it right to Xavier Collins. All right, we'll take that for our first pick of the year. Not going to get any easier than that. Little the rookie, man. Kyler's still a diamond out here. So we're going to get some more points. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the field goal here. And the best kicker, best young kicker anyway, in the NFL, makes a 51 on top of his 61 to just bolster that lead going into halftime. I hate that shit. I hate that shit so much. It's a slant. It's a cheese. Maybe it should be. But they still have the issue. Why did Archibald stop running? If he kept running, or if our Y kept running, that's a touchdown. He literally, oh my God. How is, I thought it got patched. Watch this. Slants. Watch 87. Run your slant. If he runs his slant, that safety, Jamal Adams came up. If he keeps running diagonally, if he just keeps going this way, right? Touchdown. Look what he does. This is a slant. Oh, I'm just going to fucking hitch up here in a double. I guess brutal. Brutal. Now, the only way that makes sense is that they came out and said, like, oh, he has low awareness. That's why he fucked that up. Like, oh, that's actually pretty realistic. But I know that's not the case. And there's nothing here. Unbelievable. Oh. There we go, Milton. There we go, Milton. We got an injury, though, to Silas. Talented rookie linebacker. That huge force fumble last week. Muscle cramp. Drink some water. Muscle cramps. Jesus Christ. Third and 12. Got him backed up. Don't want to let him out. Thank you. Underthrown ball. I think he was getting hit. It's defense, man. We offensively scoring 27 points, doable. Especially against Seattle. It's usually a shootout both ways. The fact that we were the worst defense in the NFL last year, and we've started. I mean, that's just terrible. It's a 3 6 what are you, 0 4 Vic? But this turnaround defensively, like the talent's always there. We have a very talented defense. This last year, talent did not result to on field playing, on field production. Outside of turnovers and sacks, everything else, yards were disgustingly bad. This defense man is playing, got their mind right. Oh, come on, house. You know you want this. Oh, man, Kyler Murray. I know he's 28, but he feels slow. You know, does it feel slow? Rondale Moore, touchdown Cardinals. Stutting on him. All right, Rondale Moore with the injury. Cool. Off ball. Dislocated shoulder for Rondale Moore. Okay. That doesn't seem like that's too long. I think that would happen with Jamar Chase. That's that week, week or two. Might be back next week. Let's go Dagger, which is usually such a money play for Rondale Moore. We got Archibald, the rookie, there. Got him. We got him, but the O-line didn't got us. time since we could say the gong play it give me that 
Oh, I was going to say, is that Keith Taylor? It's Kenny Hodges' third pick of the day. That was aggressive. That was not me. That was a CPU saying, fuck you with this check down. I'm going to punish you. And Kenny Hodges, last year's number one overall pick, gets the third of the game for the Cardinals. This one here, a pick. Oh, what a... What an alpha play. Let's go for this for the two more. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You run it up. You always run it up on a divisional opponent. Let's go. What is that? It was 40. Ah, oh, we can't. I was going to say, can we go for 50 bomb? Oh, there we go. Ojolari. Another sack. Dominating. Absolutely dominating. Two of our biggest... I don't know. I don't, no disrespect to the Rams. But those are our two biggest competition for the NFC West. The Seahawks and the Niners. And two games in, we have kicked the shit out of both those teams with the Niners next week. Take a look at the stats here for your Cardinals. Kyler Murray, another outstanding game. Turnover free football. 282 yards passing, three touchdowns, no picks. We got 90 yards, two touchdowns for Bonds, 37 for Austin. So, like, you know, getting a pretty good balance here. Maybe we got the uh, sub in, sub out sliders for the running backs, like on a decent spot. Uh, Passing the ball, six catches, 102 yards, and a tutty for House, 61 for Archibald. Ronald Morgan, a tutty. Definitely need to see what the injury is for him going forward. 75-yard bomb for Hollywood Brown, which we love to see. Passing offense thriving defensively. Seven tackles, a TFL, a sack, and a pick for Zayvon Collins. We got a sack and a half. For, so they gave it. They kind of robbed Ojolari there of a, of a full sack, but four TFLs, sack and a half for Ojolari. Milton Williams, two TFLs and a sack against his team last year. A little bit of revenge. TFL and a sack for Owen Popo. Duvall with a half sack. Zayvon Collins, Kenny Hodges, pick six. And a Delpit, three interception day. Outstanding. We got some nice upgrades falling out from that game. Is Grant Delpit off the interception. Ooh, we spend it in a run support. He gets a nice plus two to his base overall. Just always a nice upgrade. Rondell Moore, going to see what the injury status is. I don't think... I don't think anything beyond this game. No, he's good. Just because they just popped that shit back in. And the best goddamn kicker. Most reliable kicker in his second year. Superstar Dev Klein gets another kick power up to 97. What a what a beast. We finally get a player of the week. Finally. It's been two weeks. But it's been a man. Saving college. Seven tackles, a sack, and a pick. Wow, Desmond Ritter. Six tutties. Oof. Shout out Zaven. Huge performance. Sack TFL pick. That'll probably do it. Uh, did we get anything off that for an upgrade for him? Yes, we did. Beautiful. That'll take him up to an 80 overall base with the plus one morale boost here. As we get his nice little boost there, his block shed, his play rec, and his tackling. And that all sets up a week three rematch from our week one victory, this time in our own backyard against a very good Niners team. But look at this. We come in with the number one offense, even though that's a lie. There's no way we're 17th, okay? We're the number one. Points per game, rush yards, number four defense. Everything's looking bad. we got a little mock draft here. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. We're probably at. Look at that. Running back. That's disrespect. Yeah, we're going running back. Yeah, that that's what we're going. Like, look at that, though. A corner. Late projected corner that already has A zone coverage. I mean, still just way too early. There's there's not a lot of information here whatsoever. Bobby Hobbs actually looks like he could also be very good. Let me just... Do you have any intel on the... Oh, there's no, not a lot of elite. Anyways, still too early. Just getting our beak sweat a little bit. See what the game's saying. We're going running back. Absolutely not. Not with the two-headed attack of Calvin Austin and Rosie Bonds. But we're going to wrap this one up here, fellas. At 2-0. For a team that is absolutely balling right now, Kyler Murray, six touchdowns, no picks. We can run the ball. Look at that, Calvin Austin. We're getting 120 between the two. It's a healthy complimentary. We got over 100 yards a game for Marcus Jones. Unstoppable. The rookie looks good. The deep threat is there. 
Definitely need to get, you know, generally, Rondale Moore and Hollywood Brown a little bit more involved in the offense. Defense, ridiculous. Has been Through two games, we got six DFLs, three sacks for Ozer Larry, two sacks for Papo, two sacks for Collins, Duvall sack and a half. We got three picks in two games. The numbers are true to roof. Giving us everything that we need. So that would it for me today, guys. Again, quick turnaround because we're just doing these solo apps. We're going to get this Niner episode out sooner than later. We're going to get that Panther episode out sooner than later. Sprinkle in a couple rebuilds. And we're good here on the C4 channel here for the holiday season. So thank you guys very much for watching. As always, first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's your boy C4. Say peace out. Love you. Have a good one.